I've been playing Summoner's Greed for eight months, much longer than the average player, and twice as long as the four month waiting game that this idle tower defense has become. Summoner's Greed has very limited content, with much of it being useless fillers, and that's reflected in the average playing time of most players. For me, the state of the game is incredibly boring. For new players, I won't be surprised if it becomes the same for them within a few months. There's a lot of flaws in this game which ultimately contribute to the overall design of it just not being fit to attract long-term consistent players. Now the first issue I want to address is the progression in the game. Namely, there are two primary limited monster rotations. The special monster rotation spans roughly two months under normal circumstances, and the mythic monster rotation was recently expanded to four months. Depending on the given week or month, you'll be able to access a unique monster or set of monsters. This is completely determined by time and whatever you do in the game won't impact the duration of each rotation. However, these time-locked rotations include units who are crucial to progressing in the game and being able to challenge the newest content. Furthermore, the, ma the vast majority of the units are also among the strongest in the game. The majority of endgame setups are mostly monsters that players had to just wait months and months to get, with no method other than this waiting to obtain them. Therefore, progression isn't most strongly influenced by time placed into the game, money spent, strategy is employed, it's by being able to do nothing and waiting around until the next event comes, and then the next. Now you might have something to say about what I just stated. Isn't time spent waiting for the next monster rotation important to farm for gold, gems, mythic gems, orbs, power stones, charms, all the crucial resources which take great time to obtain and have great impact? Well, the issue that arises here is that glitches and exploits, which there are so many with different steps and procedures at this point, are able to simplify the process near instantaneous compared to the waiting of the next limited event. Okay, so why don't people just not play with glitches and exploits? Well, the problem here is that now the process for farming takes a grueling amount of time. One example, 15 mythics in the game with between 3 to 4 in, one, in a 1 month rotation having a less than 1% drop rate to obtain in one of your rolls. Maximizing your farming to obtain as many mythic gems without paying per week. It's realistic that you'll get 1 in months. And that after years of playing the same content over and over again with the occasional update that barely changes things, you'll might have half of them. Not even guaranteeing the important ones, which will actually be able to bring you more content access and a generally better game experience. Simply put, farming is either instantaneous, leaving much boring idle time, or it takes forever, becoming the boring idle time of repetition. However, let's say that you get past all this, and after months of waiting, you finally have all the monsters, the upgrades, the charms. Well, congratulations, you have a few hours of new content that barely looks different from what you had before. Hey, some bigger numbers though, more color rocks, and you beat all the levels, congrats. Now after the four months of boring gameplay, or three years of boring gameplay, you finish the game, you have some nice monsters to look at. Hope that keeps you entertained for a week, because, um, yeah, there's nothing else to do. Alright, cool. Have fun. Alright, but let's be real here, alright? Who really expected an immersive, incredible experience downloading this? It's an idle tower defense mobile gotcha game. None of the problems I listed before are something new to this type of thing. Most people pick it up to play for a little bit every day and probably get tired of it sometime later. Put it down after a few weeks. The dedicated community members who I counter in the four digits pale in volume to the millions of downloads the game has received. My problems and complaints are, and uh, bitching are just of someone who's bored of the game, but plays anyways because YouTube views and AdSense revenue is nice. In terms of the actual state of the game, despite the problems I mentioned before and many more that I didn't, it's still going to be played by many. I don't think anyone can enjoy doing one thing forever, and that's the same with Summoner's Greed. More people come and go, and it's not as if the majority of players had high expectations going in anyways. I sure as hell didn't, and I have pretty low expectations for the future of it too. Some people enjoy it, some people don't. I don't really understand why people like playing it, but that's probably because I'm just tired of the game. 
There's a pretty small but good community that can keep the players who don't enjoy the game playing anyways. I'm just bored of the game, but if you still enjoy it, no one's stopping you from playing. I just think it's a pretty garbage game. Alright, cool. That's the video. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk essay thing. See ya.